Hmm, it looks like a regular beach, but something sets off an alarm blaring in your head. The sand looks too red, the sun is too bright, the wind is all wrong, it's hard to breathe, and there's no water in the ocean. Well, panic not, it's normal, since you're on Mars. For the longest time, we've seen Mars as a dry, lifeless dust ball, a freezing desert where water exists only as ice or vapor. But new research suggests that billions of years ago, it was a totally different place. And instead of endless dust, it may have had something much more familiar to us – sunny, sandy beaches. Scientists from Penn State, UC Berkeley, and Guangzhou University studied radar data from China's Zhurong rover. It started a roll across Mars in 2021. While exploring the surface of the red planet, it found sloping rock formations that look strikingly similar to the ones found on Earth's coastlines. Those are called foreshore deposits. They form when waves push sand onto a shoreline. But Zerong wasn't just taking pretty pictures. It also had ground-penetrating radar, a tool that allowed it to scan deep below the Martian surface as it traveled 1.2 miles between May 2021 and May 2022. And it found something pretty wild. Layers of sediment sloping down at a 15-degree angle. This pattern is identical to the ones left behind by waves on Earth. And not, this wasn't from the wind, volcanoes, or anything else. It just looked like a real beach. And that's actually a big deal. Because if there were waves and tides, there must have been a large body of water. That means Mars may have once had just the right conditions for hosting life. Even after 3.5 billion years, the formations are still incredibly similar to beaches on Earth. So there must have been a time when Mars was much more than just a dusty rock in space. After revealing this shocking news, Zerong's radar scanned 260 feet deep into the ground, discovering sediment layers. They once formed along a path perpendicular to an ancient shoreline, the one that likely existed 4 billion years ago. At the same time, it might not be all that surprising. Back then, Mars wasn't the dry, frozen wasteland we see today. It had a thicker atmosphere, a warmer climate, and plenty of liquid water. And I'm not even talking about some tiny puddle. Beaches don't form without a massive body of water. For wave to shape the land like this, there had to be rivers flowing into a vast ocean. Powerful currents had to be moving sand around, and water had to stick around for a long time. This couldn't be just a brief wet spell. It was a period where Mars was hydrologically active for millions of years, potentially being a place where life could have thrived. This discovery gives even more weight to one theory. It has been puzzling scientists since the 1970s. That's when NASA's Viking spacecraft snapped images of what looked like a shoreline wrapping around Mars's northern hemisphere. But there was a problem. The shoreline was all over the place, with elevations varying by up to 6 miles. Wow, which is nothing like our flat, mostly consistent shorelines we see on Earth. This difference made scientists doubt that a Martian ocean ever existed. For years, scientists have been trying to crack this mystery. In 2007, they suggested that Mars' rotation actually shifted billions of years ago. As the planet's massive Tharsis volcanic region grew, the planet's spin axis tilted, warping the surface. It could explain why the shoreline is so uneven today. In other words, what once was a flat and level landscape got distorted over time. Interestingly, Mars has been dropping hints about its watery past for years. Curiosity found ancient ripples in Gale Crater. There were signs of a long-gone lake. Perseverance is currently studying a fossilized river delta in Jezero Crater. Now, with Zurong's evidence of an ancient ocean, it all comes together. Small lakes? Check. Rivers? Check. A massive ocean covering the northern lowlands? Mm, quite possibly. Zurong's mission wrapped up in May 2022 after dust blocked its solar panels. But future missions could still explore those ancient shoreline deposits. Scientists might send new missions to drill deeper into the ground to retrieve samples. Or we could use better radar to map Mars' subsurface in more detail. There's a real hope to excavate those areas in the future and find even more clues about Mars' past. At the same time, NASA's Perseverance rover is already working hard in Jezero Crater collecting samples. Scientists hope that it will bring them back to Earth in the 2030s. 
While those won't include samples from the ancient ocean, they could still help us find out more about Mars's wetter history. For now, the discovery of ancient beaches on Mars gives us a peek into a time when the planet might have looked a lot more like Earth, with water, waves, and rivers. Now let's speak about the Perseverance rover that's still working on Mars in more detail. It has a special drill on its arm and uses it to scrape off the dust and top layers of rock, making small 2-inch wide circles in Jezero Crater. Once, one of its cameras took a close-up photo, and the image showed that the rock wasn't smooth. It was made of tiny interlocking crystals. The rover used two special tools to analyze the rock's chemistry. The results confirmed that the rock, named Rochette, was volcanic. It meant it formed from lava or magma, not from mud and clay, like scientists had expected from a former lake bed. Perseverance, also known as Percy, landed on Mars in February 2021, along with a small helicopter named Ingenuity. It is the most advanced rover ever sent to Mars, following in the footsteps of Curiosity, Spirit, Opportunity, and others. But Percy has a different mission. While older rovers mainly studied Martian rocks and climate, Perseverance is searching for signs of past life. Scientists chose Jezero Crater because it looks like it used to be a lake where tiny life forms could have lived. The rover drills, scrapes, and collects rock samples to study with its science tools. It also saves some samples to bring back to Earth in the future for even closer study. Perseverance has found some surprising things on Mars. Scientists studying the data it sent back have discovered that Jezero Crater has changed a lot over time. Long ago, this area had flowing lava, a lake that lasted for thousands of years, rivers that carried mud and sand, and even massive floods that brought in rocks from far away. It means that Jezero's history is more active and unpredictable than scientists expected. This definitely made it harder to find the sedimentary rocks they were looking for. But it has also revealed new places where ancient life might have existed. Another exciting discovery is that every rock Perseverance has studied so far contains carbon-based materials, the same stuff that life on Earth is built from. NASA's Perseverance rover also carries a special tool called MOXIE, which has managed to make oxygen from the carbon dioxide in Mars' atmosphere for the first time. Over 16 test runs, MOXIE produced about 4 ounces of oxygen. That's enough to keep an astronaut breathing for about 4 hours. It worked even better than expected, making up to 0.42 ounces of oxygen per hour. After running successfully for two years, MOXIE completed its final test in September 2023. It brings us one step closer to sending humans to Mars in the future. In any case, back to the discovery of ancient shorelines on Mars. This finding might help us see the red planet with new eyes. Water might have been flowing across its surface for tens of millions of years carving out lakes, rivers, and even a vast ocean. What else have we misunderstood? Did Martian dinos stroll across the vast green valleys of the planet? Or were those bizarre marine creatures the likes of which we can't even imagine? Well, we don't know yet. But one thing is very likely. Mars had an era of warmth, water, and maybe life. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.